Hey everyone, um, there's some confusion about uh, this on this blog post, uh, and the blog post is, in case you're catching it somewhere else, it's over at TonyStewart.me about making video social. Um, and one of, the, one of the things I recommend is avoiding two people on video. Uh, and I just want to go into that a little bit further. The, the reason I say that um, is because of where uh, the audience's focus is, depending on how many people are on the video. So, real quickly, when there's one person on video, you're focusing on one person. When there's three or more people on video, they're the nonverbals of the people not talking help you again direct your focus onto one person. But when there's two, and for a lot of the videos that we're producing and we're putting out in, on the social web, not a professional setup, you actually end up paying attention to two people. And the nonverbals of the person not talking can carry so much weight they can make or break the video regardless of content. Um, so, you know, the, the person not talking, if if they're, if they're nodding a lot or they don't know where to look, if they're looking back and forth, am I supposed to look at the person talking or look at the audience through the camera or back and forth? And it can create this social awkwardness and you kind of see them, it's hard to carry that weight and do it well. Um, and also when there's two people on video, you have to have a certain level of chemistry that's already there. And it's much more important that those two people on video know how to exchange back and forth, that they can have a, a lively, entertaining conversation just between the two of them. And they know how to interrupt each other well and have a sort, certain kind of relationship um, in that. When there's three or more, the flow becomes much more natural. It's like you're part of a group and the audience can just match the environment that's kind of there on the video. Whereas one person has to help create that environment when they're not talking, when there's two people on video. So it's a little, it's a little heady, a little nerdy. If you notice when you see interviews on TV, they don't have one steady shot of two, of two people. Or if there's just two people talking, most of the times you don't see one steady shot on that person. The camera usually has at least three angles. A shot on one person over the other person's shoulder, a shot on another person over the other person's shoulder, and then a, a shot that includes the, the both of them. And you, if you watch, they'll switch back and forth and actually coming from the back of the head of the other person so that the audience knows I'm not paying to attention to the person not talking and I can't even see their face so that their nonverbals aren't an interruption or that isn't guiding my experience. And they focus on the person talking by switching back and forth. And so that's kind of an industry standard that makes two people on video feel, again, much more natural in regards to who I'm paying attention to. But for a lot of the video that I do when I put it out socially, a lot of times it's a one camera shoot and doing two people on video creates this real awkwardness and it's really difficult to create a good chemistry in doing that. So that's why I recommend um, one, people, one person on video or three and more because socially and production wise, it's much easier to, to create the expectation of how people are going to interact with this video and for that video and that those people talking to feel much more approachable.